It's a big hit to Detroit's effort to fight blight. Today, the city put contractors on notice, telling them the money may soon be running out. The mayor is urging council to vote on a $250 million demolition bond, but so far, little action has been taken. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is here, and Hank, the mayor really wants this money to continue tearing down eyesores. Yeah, because we've seen the progress, and people have certainly seen it in the neighborhoods. The mayor really wants that money to be there. So today, the city started reaching out to those companies and contractors that help with the teardowns, warning them that the amount of funding available could be reduced dramatically and that could also affect their workload. They're an eyesore, a danger, and everyone agrees they need to go. It's boarded up, it has chains in it where they were trying to shift it back to one side. We've shown you over and over how neighbors celebrate when a blighted home comes down in their area. The Help Me Hank team gets emails daily. People concerned about abandoned homes in their neighborhood. Recently, we worked with the city to bring down this eyesore on Glen Court. Ideally, we'd like to see owners take care of the property, um, but when the conditions get to this point, it puts public health and safety at risk. Uh, we'd like to move in and take care of it very quickly. But now we've learned the city is putting demolition contractors on notice. The work may soon slow down dramatically. Here's why. It all comes down to money. The mayor pushing council to vote on a $250 million demo bond. That would go to the voters. But right now, the city tears down roughly 100 homes a week. No bond? That would drop to 25. 4,000 homes come down a year, no bond, it's going to drop to 1,000. The mayor has a big and ambitious plan to make Detroit blight-free by 2024. Now, we're being told there are some council members who've been cautious to throw support behind the demolition bond, but council will likely have an opportunity to vote on this issue November 12th. Uh, you know, we've seen the progress in neighborhoods. The yeah. mayor really wants that money. But there are some council people that know about the investigations that have yeah, taken place yeah. with demo, even though most have been cleared. Right. Uh, they're just a little cautious right now. Yeah. 20,000 have been torn down. I mean, th think about 20,000 homes. It's hard to comprehend. That's a really good sized yeah. town. And you think <laughs> about the opportunity to say that Detroit is blight free in 2024. I mean, when has Detroit been able to say that in the last 50 so, years? So, 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 so. That also means there's a long, still a long way to go, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, true. All right. Yes. Sure. Let's get Ben in.